Hi, Hope Chapel. Uh, this, is, this is Greg and Erica Adams. And we've been coming to Hope Chapel for over a year now, and we wanted to talk about a gift from God that we received here at Hope Chapel. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm not too lucky. I haven't won much uh, when it comes to raffles and that sort of thing. In fact, uh, Eric and I were at a baseball game watching a Red Sox game uh, up in the up, uh, above the Green Monster, and uh, the guy hits a foul ball, and uh, you know the, the ball's coming. It looks like it's coming to us, and uh, falls short. And uh, uh, similar experience uh, happened about a year and a half ago. Carl was uh, promoting the Collision CD, and uh, he stands up in front of the congregation. He holds up a, a CD and he tosses it into the in the crowd, and the thing floats. And next thing you know, it lands right and right squarely in our lap. And and we just thought that was uh, absolutely amazing. One of the things that's re- that we've really enjoyed about uh, Hope Chapel is the uh, the use of multimedia, and uh, it's really been beneficial to us. Uh, to kind of open the door for our friends and family, uh, strange as that may sound, but uh, this CD, I, I, I played in my car, uh, in fact it's the only CD in my car, um, I, I, I listen to coming to and from work and if I give rides to people they, they get a taste of it and sometimes it opens that door and, uh, and people tend to ask the question, so what is this? Uh, this this music, uh, where did it come from? And that just opens up and I, I can share my testimony with them. Additionally, I went to a Men of Hope event where they they hosted the Fireproof uh, showing. Um, that spoke to me and I, I had a chance to send that, that video off to my brother-in-law and, and his wife as they deal with some marital issues. Um, just another instance where multimedia has <coughs> it, been used as a medium to, to, to pass God's word. And all these uh, these small gifts in our life that God has given us, uh, whether it's the CD, the movie, the Alpha Course, uh, they've really spoken to us uh, and, and, and kind of given us a chance to, to break the ice with our friends and family, um, whether sharing the CD, sharing the music. And these different multimedia mediums have given us that opportunity to, to reach out. And First Chronicles 16.9 tells us, uh, sing to him. Sing praise to him, tell all of his wonderful acts. And, and sure enough, I, driving in my car, I, I'm singing, uh, and my wife can attest to that. And so you'll see me on the road uh, singing, singing his praises. Um, and for me, that has just been my kind of worship time. To and from work, in the car, uh, gives me a chance to unwind um, and, and be one with God and pray and, and, and reflect on my day. And if it wasn't for the CD, I, I'd have all sorts of distractions. Um, but the, the music is what brings me, brings me into that, that zone. We just feel really blessed that we were able to have the CD, um, as Greg was saying, kind of fall into our laps as a gift from God. And we've really used the CD um, to pass it on to friends, for friends to listen to, for Greg to have this opportunity to pray in the car. And I think some of the songs are awesome. So I, I'm really glad that we were able to be there at that service and you know I, I recommend that if you don't have it that you at least give it a try and, and see if it opens up some doors for you. And so in the spirit of passing it on, um, we've, uh, we've bought some CDs and we'd like Pastor Carl to throw those into the congregation and maybe uh, as it's worked in our lives, maybe it could uh, work with somebody else and uh, get them in the spirit of ministry open up to talking to, to other people, sharing, sharing the word.